I've had an opportunity now to walk a few of these streets. Um, I, you know, I, I don't think words can fairly express the level of devastation here. I, I'm not articulate enough to, to, to really uh, express what, what I saw. Um, but what I felt was a tremendous uh, sense of community resilience. Uh, people were cleaning out their homes, even though they know their home is ultimately probably going to have to be torn down. Uh, I met the daughters of a woman who, who was killed in the storm, and uh, they were here finding her things. Uh, and the sense was uh, to, to, to bring this uh, area back to life uh, over time. Uh, and that's why it's so important that we have different members of the cabinet here. We have different uh, responsibilities and can think of perhaps different approaches to assist uh, the city and the state, who, of course, uh, will have the, the lead. Um, but this is a tornado unlike any other tornado um, we, we have seen in, in any recent memory, uh, one that was so wide, that one that went so far and was just like a bulldozer blade up through uh, Alabama from Tuscaloosa to, to Birmingham. And uh, the damage here is, is, has been very, very significant. So uh, like I said, uh, my words are, are not enough to express the, the extent of the damage, but I can appreciate what the people of Alabama are doing right now, and we will stand with them all of the way.